Finally, my Jays got back from Patagonia because I shipped my bike over there. Probably you know about my Go South the Patagonia ride adventure trip. It happened a couple of months ago and uh, I started from uh, Valparaiso, Chile and ended in uh, Ushuaia, of course. This is a top spec Alto F50 GS Adventure, the 2020 model. So it's a brand new bike. I mean, it was a brand new bike when I left in Patagonia. Now it has uh, 7,500 kilometers, something like that. And it comes with everything you might wish for when leaving to a big adventure. So it has the side cases, they're the original. It has the crush bars, the engine protector. It has everything. In this review, I'm going to come up with some insights after having a long trip with this bike. I'm going to start with the luggage system. I chose the original side cases, they're in black and I love this color and of course they're made of aluminium and they're very tough and very resistant but there are some things you might be aware of. This is the small case because it's on the right side of the bike and there's the exhaust that sits over here so it's smaller than the right one and uh, the good part is that you can open this case from the back and from the front. There are two two ways to open it and I love it that you you can use the key to lock them of course but you don't need the key if you want to open it so you can leave it unlocked but closed which is very cool unlike other boxes on the market I experienced there's a thing over here with the opening system when it's new it's very easy to do it but I, I had some problems and now it's a bit hard for me to do it. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's a bit locked, but it's my fault because uh, I think I left it open. I forgot to close it and uh, I started riding and it went like this it opened and went like this during my ride and probably this is the reason that this one got a bit uh, unfunctional but i'm sure that being an aluminium thing you can fix it very easy so keep that in mind when using these cases don't forget to lock them every time you're living with a bike Because of these corrugated roads full of washboards, I lost one of the screws. And now I'm using a tool that every adventure rider should have. How, how do I call it this in English? Zip ties? Zip ties. Yeah. Zip ties, right. I lost it because of the vibrations. Uh, it was a dusty road over there, it was a bit of washboard, so too many vibes, too many vibes for the bike. I lost this screw. Uh... Since we're having a break, let's have a look at the tires. The front seems pretty good about half of the initial thread the front is a continental tkc80 now let's move to the back to the mitas e07 also about 
have. Uh, we had so far 3,500 kilometers, so I think they're gonna last about 7,000 kilometers, so it should be just enough for this ride. And uh, I chose these tires because, well, I think they offer the best mix between uh, riding, uh, between grip and lifetime, between grip and wear. Because the front, the TKC on front, comes with better grip than the Mita C07, and the Mitas on the rear has a longer life. So I think this is the perfect combo for this type of roads, for this type of adventures. There is a marker over here that says, hey, you can still ride using this tire for, I don't know, maybe 1,000, 2,000 kilometers. But trust me, it's not a pleasure to do it. You can do it only if you need to do it, but it's not a pleasure because you don't have too much grip left on this tire. The traction control kicks in really early, even on the asphalt. And uh, while riding on the off-road, you don't have uh, that much grip. Now let's get back to the luggage system and I want to discuss about the tank bag, which is very important for me because I love having it on my trip because it's very easy to, to use it as a storage space for your photo camera, maybe for your wallet, for some documents and for such things that you need to, to grab them really quick when having an issue or something like that. It comes with a waterproof layer inside. I liked it. Uh, honestly, a smaller one is on my taste, but this was the only one I could find. The only thing I don't like about this tank bag is that it comes with two holding points in the rear area and one holding point in the front. So, no matter how hard I'm trying to, to get it on the position, it still goes sideways like this and like that. And uh, when riding a street, is not a problem but when riding in off-road it goes like this very often and uh, there's also an issue because it leaves some marks here on the fuel tank is they're not very visible but still it's a bit annoying now i want to talk about this rally seat because i love it at the beginning it felt a bit uncomfortable, but I think it was because I just wasn't used to riding on this kind of seat. But now it feels really comfy. I love it. I really do. And I did 6,000 kilometers on this bike with this seat and I had no issue. Obviously, it's not the best choice if you want to go riding with a passenger because it's very short, but for a solo rider, it's perfect because it's slim, it goes right here and it comes with perfect ergonomics. Now, what do you think about this windscreen? It's huge, it's protective and it looks very cool because it's black. But still, it's black and you can't see anything through this windshield. And uh, when riding with a sun visor on, <laughs> it's getting really difficult to, to spot the things on the road. So for my next trip, I, will, I would choose a clear windscreen because it comes with the same shape. In fact, this is the original BMW windshield. It has the same shape as the clear one, but it's black. So. Okay. Papa. Oh, gracias. Uh, I'm okay, I'm fine. The bike is also okay. Thanks God. I had these crash bars and these engine guards and yeah, that's it.
take a look at this big guy. It looks really impressive. And it's really fun to ride on twisties. I remember that I used it in uh, the road riding mode. I didn't even feel the need uh, to switch it on the dynamic or dynamic pro riding mode because it is so sporty, so nimble, so fun to ride. It feels a bit like a sports touring bike, you know, but meanwhile, it's very comfortable. And this is very important when going to some roads such as the long straights of Patagonia in Argentina. Uh, when you're riding for 500 kilometers a day on the straight road and it's very windy and uh, it might be rainy and cold sometimes so you need a comfortable bike for that as for the whole riding experience well this bike was fantastic i fell in love with it and uh, before riding this big auto 50 gs adventure i used to like the standard version more because uh, i'm not that tall and uh, it, that one felt more nimble and i don't know but after several kilometers in south america i realized that this is the gs to buy if you want to go in a long adventure because it's very comfortable it has this large fuel tank and what's so fantastic about this bike is that it's very elegant and it's very nimble no matter the fact it's so huge no matter the fact it's so massive no matter the fact it's so heavy because this bike is is very good for for most of the people that want to go on an adventure because we're not talking about off-road over here we're not talking about the real enduro experience over here we're talking about uh, gravel roads we're talking about uh, secondary roads we're talking about a bike capable to reach a far away place at the end of the continent while offering you a comfortable ride and while being also sporty and uh, while being also able to go in an off-road route if you have to.